Manchester, and that gives them the confidence, not just, yeah, well, hopefully we'll be able to do it before the end of the season, or we think we can probably do it, but now we can win races like anybody else. And that's a, it's got to be a big boost for a team as well as a driver, hasn't it? Yeah, huge, huge confidence boost. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's important for, for, for a driver and team to feel confident that they've got the ingredients in place to, to deliver a win. And uh, it's not until you do it that you, you know for sure that you, you can. I don't think it's any coincidence that... Uh, Parent is driving for the team either. Portuguese owned and a, a talented Portuguese former champion and multiple race winner. He's never he's even managed to pick up some tank tape. Look, <laughs> never been the world's best funded driver, Alvaro Parent. And I wouldn't mind betting that Thiago Monteiro has had a bit of a punt with him. And uh, if he's got sponsorship that's, you know, getting on towards uh, a, a decent season sponsorship, that'll probably be enough because, as we've said before a number of times, it's important to get the team winning. And so often a good competitive driver can make that difference to a team that's not got the experience of winning up until that point. Yeah, that's... Um you know, Adam Carroll's picked up quite a few drives on that basis. He's not got much money behind him, but he's certainly got the ability. And teams know if they, if they slot a driver like that into the car, then uh, they stand a good chance of, of getting a win or being on the podium. Yeah, it's, a, it's like uh, putting in an upgrade chip, isn't it? You, you yeah. just, the whole thing just picks up and goes a bit better. It was loyal, I think. Loyal, no? But it wasn't too slippery. No, too bad. It was slippery for one lap. Beijinhos para todos em casa aí. E um abraço grande na família Lobo. Hello everybody at home and sending his love back to the family. So Alvaro Parent will come out to a podium he knows pretty well now after wins here in British Formula 3 and in World Series by Renault. Be interesting to see whether he or Lucas de Grassi get the chance to uh, come and race here in Formula 1. Certainly, it looks a, a racing certainty that Nico Hülkenberg will be in a Formula One car here next year. And they are our top three in this afternoon's feature race. And don't forget that uh, the sprint race is on tomorrow as well. Ocean Racing Technology and Alvaro Perez claim victory here. And uh, don't forget the sprint race on live tomorrow morning on British Eurosport. 9.30 tomorrow morning, British summertime, followed by the Porsche Super Cup race live on British Eurosport 2 at 10.45. Today we have the first race of the Formula Master Series. That will be on at 6.30. British summertime on British Eurosport 2. That's a tape delay and a slight tape delay for tomorrow's Formula Master race as well. Starts at 8 a.m. And our top three in this feature race receive their trophies. Motor racing starts very, very early tomorrow at 04.15. Live from Indianapolis, MotoGP action on the British Eurosport 2. So an awful early start. If you're up there, make sure you don't miss the GP2. I'm sure that tomorrow's sprint race is going to be a real thriller. Kamui Kobayashi, Guido van der Garda, Roldan Rodriguez, Diego Nunes will be our top four. And I would be surprised if these three don't feature as well. They clearly on pace are the class of the field here at the moment, Gareth Reese. Yeah, yeah, no question. No question. It's uh, Hulkenberg will uh, always be around and about, but uh, his competition seems to change race by race. But he's the man who's consistently up there, isn't he? And that's the secret, really, of a 28-point championship lead, isn't it? You don't get that by accident. So 
So there is Nico Hulkenberg looking cool, calm, collected. The rumours that are circulating around him certainly don't seem to have uh, dented his performance in any way. And hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be able to bring you uh, updated news on Stefano Coletti. Looks as though he is fine. He was certainly very animated in the car. And uh, so hopefully the young Monegasque will uh, not be injured and be able to start tomorrow's race. Alvaro Perrin then is our race winner. And for the first time, Ocean Racing Technology on the top step of the podium. So tomorrow he will start in eighth place. Hulkenberg seventh, Degrassi in sixth position. The recipient of the final point will be in sixth place. Well, we had uh, a full start. We had a safety car, a number of...